Icy Sarasen, should we just let Israel and Iran dick it out and leave the U.S. out of it? I mean, I think that's fine if that happens, but the reality is that, is that the United States has clear, unequivocal interest here. The United States uh, has been at war with Iran uh, since 1979. It just, the U.S. administration, after administration, has refused to admit it. The United States should take part in this. It should have never left it to Israel. This is primarily an American war, and the United States should have taken them out. I have no problem uh, in keeping the U.S. out of it, if that'll make you guys feel better, but it's wrong. Uh, the reality is, the reality is that uh, it is America that should be taking out the Iranians uh, and, and should be decimated the Iranian nuclear program. It is the Americans, uh, through appeasement, uh, that have made possible this attack. So uh, uh, America and Israel's interests right now are the same. The, the end of the Iranian regime. And if America can help end that regime, then it should help end that regime. You know, it's kind of sad. It's pathetic, really. Not just sad. It's pathetic that... Um, it's pathetic that... Uh, uh, you know, uh, the United States hasn't done this alone, that it requires uh, the United States uh, to do it. All right, uh, there's pictures coming out of the um, meeting of the Israeli war cabinet where people are pretty pissed off and angry. Um, Israel, Israeli aircraft are now reported to be in Jordan airspace, conducting more interception of Iranian one-way suicide drones, so that's happening. Um, Israel is preparing for several days of fighting against Iran with an Israeli response expected soon. Uh, let's see. Yes, it's 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 a it's a few days they expect of uh, ongoing defensive operations to be followed by offensive operations. So we'll see uh, we'll see how that goes. Okay, thank you, I see Sarasan. So this is a this is an American war, even though America won't admit it, and that is just a sign of America's cowardice uh, and America's public's uh, uh, inability anymore to think strategically and long term, and to a large extent because of the betrayal that the American public has been betrayed by its politicians and by its intellectuals who never explained, who never explained, um, uh, you know, why go to Afghanistan, why go to Iraq, why stay in Afghanistan, why stay in Iraq, why, why these wars were necessary, why they were uh, valuable, and, they, and some of them weren't. So um, uh, it is the failure of America to actually go out there and defend itself, crush its enemies, and come home that has created all this angst in the Middle East. America could have ended this a long time ago, and it's chosen not to. Um, all right, uh, Andrew says, do you think people are misapplying the value of human life and establishment, uh, life established during the Enlightenment uh, to the issue of protecting innocent lives in Gaza, or are there more nefarious ideas at work? Um, no, I mean, I think that they are misapplying the value of human life, certainly. That's part of it. But it is, uh, it is uh, more nefarious. Certainly, some people hate Israel. Uh, they hate the Jews. They hate self-defense. Uh, uh, certainly, Christianity uh, has uh, this idea of uh, turn the other cheek and anti-self-defense. So there are lots of different ways in which, there are lots of different ways in which uh, the ideas that the left has, the ideas that the right have, are anti-self-defense and prevent uh, and prevent making the difference, making the differentiation. Also, we live in a culture that's anti-moral judgment. So who are you to say one party's evil and one party's good? Who are you to make that kind of judgment and to, and to uh, talk about evil and good and evil? Uh, and as a consequence, uh, there is... Um, yeah, as a consequence, uh, you know, the whole idea of innocent lives, uh, how, how do you define innocent? And uh, who is innocent and who is good? And who is, you're not allowed to have an opinion about that. So that's definitely misapplying, but it's more than that. It is, it is the lack of moral judgment, the lack of morality. By what standard? What standard of morality do you use in order to describe some people as good and some people as evil? Um, all right, interesting. Egypt has closed its airspace to commercial flights, and that, I assume, means 
that the Houthis have launched something against Israel. The Houthis, in order to get to Israel, would come close to Egypt. Uh, any one of their drones or any one of their other uh, type of weapon systems could easily cross into Egyptian airspace. I don't see any reason why Egypt will close their airspace if not for the Houthis launching something against Israel, whether it's drones or whether it's uh, some kind of cruise missile. Um, uh, Iran is reportedly threatened to attack any country in the Middle East that opens its airspace to an Israeli attack against Iran. That means Jordan, Syria, and Iraq, which is where Israel would fly. I don't think anybody's really threatened by that on the part of uh, the Iranians. Uh, U.S. President Biden is expected to address the nation from the Oval Office later today. That, I think, for sure means that uh, the Americans are participating in whatever self-defense actions are, um, uh, are involved. So to the extent that, uh, you know, drones are being knocked down, I wouldn't be surprised if American assets are involved. Otherwise, I don't see why Biden would be addressing. He is addressing this in the context of supporting Israel. Um, uh, one, one more source. In the coming hours, the U.S. expects missile launches from Iran and southern Lebanon. That's Hezbollah. That's really bad. And maybe even the Houthis. I think the Houthis have already launched. The Iranians are trying to overwhelm the Israeli air defense pro-Israeli official. I think that's right. Uh, that makes the most sense for the Iranians to do is to launch from all fronts and try to completely overwhelm Israel's uh, self-defense uh, capabilities. Um, that is, uh, that is definitely, a, uh, definitely what's going on. Senior U.S. official has told ABC News that they expect Iran to launch between 400 to 500 one-way suicide drones and missiles against Israel in an attempt to overwhelm their air defense systems. So again, this is probably a, uh, this is just numbers. You just, uh, uh, how long can the pilots stay up there? How many anti-drone missiles do they have? These, uh, the thing about these drones is they're pretty cheap. Um, you know, it is questionable whether Israel should be deploying all its air defense systems to go after drones or whether it should be keeping them in reserve to go after ballistic and cruise missiles. I don't know. Not an expert here. I don't know what Israel's, uh, uh, you know, uh, what its total capabilities of, are and, and where, how long it can sustain a defensive effort uh, in this regard. It really is hard to tell. Okay.